What's up guys, so today uh, I'm going to install a new cabin air filter or a pollen filter in my Cayman 987. Um, before we begin, we're going to need a few tools. So we're going to need a 3 8 inch socket, a T30 Torx bit, um, a couple of extensions, and obviously uh, your new air filter. Uh, I spent the extra money and got one that was carbon or charcoal activated. Uh, it's just a few bucks more. Uh, sounds like it's probably worth the extra money. First things first, we need to pop the hood. So the filter is usually on the passenger side of the vehicle. So I'm going to have to undo this cover and this cover real quick. For this middle cover, there's two um, thumb screws that you should be able to turn. It should pop right off. This cover just clips on and slides under this trim piece right there. There's just a single, these two clips. Kind of hard to see it, but these two clips just kind of wedge, wedge in to the uh, wiper cowl. So the cabin air filter is right under this little flap right here. So all I have to do is just lift this up and there it is. So all I have to do is just undo these four Torx T30 screws and uh, that'll release this bracket and then I should be able to pull that filter right out. Always nice to have a uh, parts tray. So there's a clip holding a filter down, um, kind of towards the center of the car. Uh, I think you can see it there. But what you're gonna do is just kind of clip it do it like that. Um, didn't really look like it was holding the uh, filter in very well, but obviously would prevent it from uh, coming out. So I guess I just uh, have to yank the filter out um, of the housing. It seems to be a little stuck. Have these having these cords here. And there it is. So inside the uh, filter, you get the uh, obviously the new filter, um, as well as instructions. Um, it's pretty.
pretty straightforward. Um, doesn't really tell you anything new. Um, comparison between the old and the new filter. Um, this filter is not super dirty. I mean, there's a little bit of a little bit of crud in between the fins. Like, honestly, I probably could have kept using this, but yeah, <laughs> it really doesn't look like it needed to be changed. But oh well, filters are cheap. Um, already took it out, so might as well use it, right? Before I put the new filter back, I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray the cavity or the air filter recess with uh, some compressed air. So like I said, uh, insulation is just reverse of removal. So make sure we have the uh, airflow. Um, pointing down, uh, whatever the markings are, whatever you want to call it. Now we're going to go ahead and put this bracket back on. Now all we need to do is just put those covers back on and should be good. Anyway, so that's it guys. Uh, overall, it's a pretty simple process to do. You should be able to do it by yourself. Uh, don't bother taking this to the fucking dealership because you're just gonna get screwed and it's a you know, 15, 20 minute job. Anybody can do it. Hope you guys liked it, thanks.